Hey, Sci-Fi here. I wanted to give you guys a quick example of how to install the updated software on your Sci-Fi board. Um, the procedure for this is going to be the same for all of the Sci-Fi boards except for the Autococker Beta 1 board. If you have that board, you probably already know it. The procedure is a little bit different on those, so message me and we'll talk about it. Uh, the first thing you want to do here is open up my website and go to the Software Updates tab at the top. And you'll see that there is a link to download my updater program. So if you click on that link, you'll download the file. <clears throat> and what you get <clears throat> is this zip file here. So if you click on that zip file, what's going to happen is it opens up a view to inside the zip file. You can't run the program from in here. Uh, you'll see that it's got this generic looking icon you cannot run the updater program from inside the zip file. What we're going to do instead is we're going to unzip this file. So I have a Windows 10 system. It might be a little bit different on yours, but the way I do it is I right click on it and I say extract all and extract. And then it unzips the file. And what I've got is a folder of the unzipped file. I've got the zip file here and then I've got the new one that it's unzipped. So if I open that folder, I've got the actual updater program in here. You'll see that it has my green icon and that's the one you want to run. So if you double click on that, it's going to open up the file. So when we double click on it, it actually gives me this little uh, warning message that says, do you want to allow this app to run from an unknown publisher? That's me. I am an unknown publisher. I'm not a pro, uh, I'm not a professional programmer, so this is the best I know how to do, and you're just going to have to deal with it. So it says, "Do we want to allow it to run?" Yes. And then it opens up the updater program. So here we've got the program. It's actually giving us steps inside here. So if we look, it says step 1, install the USB driver. Step two, select the board hardware type. Step three, plug in the board. And step four, update the board. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install the USB driver. Uh, I have a 64-bit computer, so I'm gonna click on this button for X64 driver. If you have a 32-bit computer, there is a version here for you. I've never tested it because I don't own a 32-bit computer, so it either works or it doesn't. Um, Anyway, I'm gonna install my driver. I click on that button and it opens up this other window here. And this is the device driver installation wizard. I click next and it installs and then it says finish. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select the board hardware type. Um, if you click on this little down arrow, we've got all of the different software packages for the boards I've released at this point. Uh, if you're unsure of which one you have, don't just click any of them that could kill your board. Instead, look at the board. It's actually printed on the board itself. It tells you what you have. If you have an autococker version 1 or a version 1.1 or a version 2, it says so on the board. So in this case, I have a J4 Torque that I'm going to do the update on. Alright, so step 3 is plug in the board with the USB. So... I've got my USB cable. I always in, uh, unplug the batteries first. It's not really mandatory, but it's what I've always done, so that's what I recommend for you. When I plug in the board, it's going to go through all the LED colors like the board's booting up. And it should stop on the white. The white means that you are in menu mode. Um, it's always going to be in menu mode while you have the USB plugged in and it will never fire the marker while you're in menu mode. It'll never fire the marker while you have the USB plugged in. So back to the screen here. Uh, the board's plugged in. I have my board hardware type selected. What I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to open up device manager. And on mine, I said I have Windows 10, but what I can do here is I'm going to type in device manager into this search bar and it pops up here. When I open up device manager, that's going to tell me something. We've got this little tree of options here. If we go down to the ports option, 
then I can open that up and it actually shows that I have a sci-fi board connected. Uh, and it tells me that it's on COM port 4. If it doesn't say that you have a sci-fi board connected, then something has gone wrong at this point. Either you haven't installed the driver correctly, or you don't have the board plugged in, or something else, but it should say sci-fi board, and it should give you a COM port right here. You don't have to open up Device Manager. I just wanted to show you guys that this is what you're looking for. It should be there. Uh, and at this point, we're good. It does say that I have a sci-fi board installed or connected. So the last thing I'm going to do, uh, I can click this search for board button, and it does tell me the same thing. It says sci-fi board found on COM4. That's just verifying what we already knew. But I'm going to hit the update button. And when I hit the update button, it's going to do two things. First of all, it's going to tell me on the screen that the board is updating. And on the LED of the marker, it's actually going to flash in this weird sequence and on most of the boards it's red, on the J4 it's blue, it might be green on some of them, but it's going to start flashing really weird on the board itself, so we'll show you that. Um, so when I click on update board, oh, it says that I haven't selected my board type, let me try that again. Select board type, J4, alright, so update board, there we go, it's updating. So we look at the, the marker and the blue light's going crazy. That just shows us that the board is truly updating. That's a good thing. And then the board is done and it reboots. When we go to the screen, it says update successful. At this point, it's been verified. It actually checks the update. So if it says update successful, it's true. Um, so that's it. Uh, if you guys have any problems or questions, post on the uh, Facebook group, and I hope this works for everybody. Thanks a lot for watching.